Mark, an arc storm is what federal weather experts call a massive storm that is fueled by atmospheric rivers. The last time it happened was the 1860s, but if it happened again, the Army Corps of Engineers says this dam could fail, and that, experts say, could be a disaster worse than the big one, the huge earthquake we've all been warning about. The Whittier Narrows Dam stands like a guardian between the San Gabriel Mountains and the towns downstream from them. Its job, making sure storms don't become floods. But recent government studies say the dam may not be strong enough. That's frightening. I had no idea. <laughs> That's terrible. Mary Louise Garcia has reason to be concerned. She's lived directly beneath the dam for the past 60 years. According to the U.S. Geological Survey, the odds of a megastorm that could wipe out the Whittier Narrows Dam as well as the Santa Fe Dam are increasing as a result of global warming. A so-called arc storm, the report says, could be more devastating than a major earthquake and cause roughly $725 billion in damage. And we're going to do whatever we can to make sure that our residents are protected. Steve Carmona is the Director of Community and Economic Development for Pico Rivera, the city just below the dam. He says city officials have been aware of concerns about the dam since 2013 and have been working with state and federal experts to develop an evacuation plan to deal with a major dam breach. That was supplemented uh, by $300,000 to incorporate the other cities that may be affected downstream. But it's the phrase downstream that has residents like Mary Louise Garcia worried. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is still in the approval stage of a dam modification, hoping to strengthen the 62-year-old dam and make sure it would be able to handle a massive storm. That worries me very much. I never even thought that we would have that dam. I thought it was there for life. Now, updating the dam could cost as much as $600 million, but if it fails, the U.S. Geological Service survey says as many as one and a half million people may have to be evacuated with floodwaters reaching 10 to 20 feet deep. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.